I thought we'd go over a few issues raised by various comments I've received. Today, is it possible for nothing to exist? This issue came to my attention after I said that there was nothing before the universe. The primary problem with trying to answer this question is in expressing what exactly it means. There's a lot of confusion over this because of one central error. It's an old error, going at least as far back as the story of Odysseus and the Cyclops, but here it is. People hear the word nothing and they think of some substance. I've had people tell me that before we can claim nothing is here or there, we first need to prove that nothing exists, gain some observational evidence for nothing, or at least come up with some idea of how nothing operates, and all of these objections are making the same mistake. When we say there's nothing here or there, we don't mean that there's something there and that something is called nothing. What we mean is that there isn't anything here or there. We can't prove that nothing exists because it's only defining characteristic is that it doesn't exist. We can't gain observational evidence for nothing because there isn't anything there to observe, and nothing can't operate in any way or else it would have to be something. However, in the same way that we can perceive an absence of water or an absence of sunlight, so we can conceive of nothingness, the complete absence of anything. In everything there is substance. However, nothing, by necessity, doesn't fall into the category of everything, and therefore doesn't have a substance. Nothing has no existence, nor even the potential to exist, because it's not a thing. It's a lack of things. Total nothingness just means a total lack of anything. If there can be a lack of cookies, or a lack of tables, a lack of television, a lack of people, a lack of snow, a lack of horses, of dirt, of air, all of which we can observe, there can also be a lack of any of these things. In that sense, and only that sense, is it possible for nothing to exist. Next, can we rely on people's religious experiences? 